Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month reading. We are already halfway through June. Wow, quickly moving into July. Let's see what messages are coming in, shall we? Let's go ahead and begin. Aquarius, what's coming in? We're seeing a big wave coming in. Aquarius, what's going on here? What's coming your way? You know, as always, I'm curious to know what city, state, or country you guys are tuning in from or maybe where you proudly represent. Or perhaps if you don't feel comfortable disclosing that, I'm always curious to know if you guys are multitasking in the best way, especially like my fire and my water signs are always multitasking. Um, so let me know what you are doing, Aquarius, if you are eating your meal or a snack, you are driving, you're listening to this on the treadmill, sweeping your patio, let me know, Aquarius. Oh, let's see what's coming in. Okay, top row, we have Chariot, Three of Swords, Two of Swords, and the World. Oh, so much air energy. Let's see, let me get your clarifiers here. Oh, 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 okay. King of Swords, I'm going to see and Temperance. All right. Let me see if there's any other clarifiers. Let's see what this message is all about. Chariot. Oh, okay. Hold on. I'm going to take these top cards and then let me go see what card was it that flipped over. Oh, okay. This card, what is this? Five of Wands. Chariot um, Aquarius. There's movement. Okay, there's definitely some movement taking place in these next few weeks. So whatever you are thinking about doing, as I see this air element, I see it happening. Whether you are planning to make a move, planning to go on this trip, planning to make new developments or plans and actions, it, it's going to happen. Okay, it's going to happen. Or possibly if you're considering making new moves or steering in... Um, a new direction I do see it being a successful win for you this could be a strategic move in the physical or metaphorical sense okay but it looks like it's it's a win it's a win move <laughs> whatever you're thinking of Aquarius all right um, now it's interesting because the chariot is also next to the three of swords so if you are thinking about I shouldn't say fleeting I should say more distancing or moving away from some type of hurt okay someone that's caused you pain or maybe you've recently gone through some type of separation it does look like uh, it may be better for you better for your mental health better for just your general well-being because the king of swords this person feels very very controlling or i should say the situation feels very uh, restrictive and strict so if you are dealing with something or someone or a, a job that you just felt restricted and limited and just not happy I do see distance okay distance benefiting you um, in in these upcoming weeks especially if it's something that you've already considered I do see like in your mind there may be contemplation because it's also next to the two of swords but I think you know like what needs to be done. I think you know that maybe staying is not going to make things better. I'm also hearing like seeking counselship. So especially when it comes to maybe like your, your health in general, if you're not doing so well, whether it's physical, emotional, um, mental, okay? The King of Swords also represents some type of counselship. So it's seeking solid advice, getting a lawyer, seeing a doctor, okay? Seeing an advisor, a counselor, a therapist. This person does feel like they are very authoritative, like they know, they know the law, they know the book, they know the, the, the order. So that's also coming in here too. It's like if you feel it instinctively, or even if you're seeing physical signs here, Aquarius, of something that's just, you're, you've tried to repair it on your own, or you've tried to overlook it, it could be you know, something that you know that you need to make the next move and pick up the phone and call someone or connect with someone or talk to someone, okay? That's just what this is showing. Now, as we see the Two of Swords with the Four of Cups, 
the the two of swords this is making a, a heavy heavy decision this isn't something lighthearted. This isn't like, what am I going to have for dinner? This is a very big decision that I see it's weighing on your heart, okay? It's weighing on your heart. And the decision uh, that you are going to be faced with is something that you're... It, it could be that you're fed up, that you're tired. You're making a decision to make a change because you just aren't satisfied. You're not satisfied with what you have or who you're with or where things are going but you also don't want to settle for something just out of desperation to get out of the situation okay so the two of swords also represents being very thoughtful and taking time to assess your overall situation and to think things through clearly the four of cups also is uh, suggesting too that Sometimes when you don't have what you want, what you are more inclined to take what comes next without waiting for the next thing. So an example would be like maybe if you're not happy in a rela- in your relationship, right? The next person that comes, you might cling on to that person just because you think nothing else will come. Or if you're not satisfied with your job, the you apply for another job and then that job calls you back the new job calls you back you may be more inclined to just take it because you just want to get out of your current job right so there's something here where the two of swords is suggesting aquarius that don't jump at the next thing that comes really take time to compare okay compare apples to oranges to compare also what else is out there so if you're dealing with some type of paperwork or contract or just legal matters or even just with people in general don't be afraid to take your time to check out the receipts, do your research, ask the questions. World with temperance, something about like patience too. Patience is going to work out in your favor because you are going to get more than what you had bargained for and you're going to gain more than what you had imagined. Somewhere here, especially when I see the rainbow and the sun, this is showing like a lot of positivity, um, a lot of happiness and this is going to be bigger than what you had imagined somewhere moving into july you're going to start to see like the signs pop up that are slowly trying to introduce something here that's going to open up your world or that's going to change your world okay because the temperance also works in a very I don't want to say slow, but in a very fluid energy. It doesn't come like rushing in, okay? So if you are, you know, looking to change something in your your position, you're looking for love. You want to travel. You want a, a different job opportunity or you want to make more money. You want to change your world, okay, as we see the world. You want certain things that come together. Patience is going to be key, but also throughout your wait, I do see the breadcrumbs are going to reveal themselves to you that are going to show you like what to expect or what's next or what you can work on to strengthen the goal to see that outcome manifest. Now we see the page of swords that also came through with the death and the five of wands. I, you know, not all of you, but some of you, there is someone here or maybe a group of people or a scenario where like you've definitely like moved on or you, I don't want to say you straight away, but you've left. Okay. You started, okay. You took flight and you flocked with another herd of birds, a different flock of birds. Okay. But there's like an ending. Okay. There's an ending here. But they are coming back. Like they are still like checking up on you. They are trying, still trying to convince you to come back or they're trying to, I don't want to say sabotage you, but somewhere here, again, this isn't for all of you, but for some of you Aquarians, you're dealing with you doing your own thing. Like this page of swords, this page of swords, they have an eagle necklace here. Okay. So like their air energy is different. They, they have like different ideas, different goals, different vision different personalities maybe just different outlook now but then here we see the dragons so the dragons can still take flight but you're not trying to fly with the dragons metaphorically speaking okay maybe you've already been with the dragons but you don't want to be with the dragons um there's so it's like you don't want to be a part of what you were a part of and you're trying to like you're you're, you're cutting you're separating yourself because this page they're all alone 
but they're not afraid. Okay, and they're ready to take on the challenges of their new path, their new direction. But again, I, I can't help but to see that there's someone here or something here. They're not quite ready to let you go or they don't want to let you go or they hate the fact that you have left and they're like retaliating. That's kind of like the energy. It's like retaliation. They're trying to retaliate or they're trying to make your departure difficult than it needs to be. Um, so yeah, out of envy, out of jealousy, it could also just be, I mean, people do things for many reasons. They just don't want to see you happy or thrive. They don't want to see you fly higher than them too. That's what I'm picking up on. Let me see what else Aquarius. Wow. Your read's very, very interesting. Huh? Let's see. What is this Aquarius? What else do we need to know? I'm going to see if there's any jumpers. Aquarius. Aquarius. Oh, this one. Oh, okay. So we have the mighty Ace of Wands coming through mid-month, moving to July. I mean, look, we have double aces. First, the Ace of Swords. Now the Ace of Wands. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands for you, Aquarius. Well, okay, I'll leave that there with the Hermit. <laughs> what is this Ace of Wands? What is this Ace of Wands for Aquarius? What is this Ace of Wands? Oh, why are the cards being shy? They're not wanting to flip over. Oh, just as I said that. Nine of Wands and the Fool. Oh. What are you trying to grow? I'm curious. What are you trying to grow? What are you trying what are you fostering and you're hoping that it's going to develop into something bigger? Think about it. It's something you're very passionate about. Okay. Maybe it's you. You are trying to grow your strength. Maybe it's your relationship. Maybe it's your love life. Maybe it's your career, your business, your side hustle, your garden. Okay. It could be something as small as something personal or something big. But it's something that you, you have your hand on it and you're, you're very passionate about it. Like you love this. This is like your baby. Okay, because I do see you honoring it, defending it, sticking up for it, showing up. The Nine of Wands shows loyalty through the process. It shows this person very determined. Even though they are tired, they're not giving up. They're, they are going to stand tall and strong next to these wands until the wands form into a solid wall or a, like a, a foundation. So there's something here, Aquarius, that you're, like, you believe in this. You're like, nope, I, I know it's going to happen. This is going to happen for me. This is going to be built for me. This is going to develop. And seeing here with the fool, there's a pretty good chance that, uh, look, the flower, we see the flower growing here. There's growth here. Whatever it is that you believe in, I see it more like only you believe in it. Or maybe this is also spirit's confirmation to say like, hey, give it a chance. Okay? Because a fool, that's what makes a fool a fool. To society is that they are taking a leap into something that not the average common person would do they are taking that leap of faith in their dreams in their goals in their plans maybe they are just living a non-typical nomadic traveling lifestyle maybe they are taking a chance at quitting their job not having a steady paycheck or health benefits but wanting to see the world right there's something here where society rules you as the fool like you are a fool aquarius for falling in love and getting married in one week right you are a fool for dropping out of college you are a fool for wanting to start your own business even though your steady paycheck has great benefits right there's something here where the world it, they shun you. They, they, they make you feel like an outcast. But the fool does not care. The fool does not care. Look, their head is up, looking towards the sky. It's a sign of optimism. They are looking up with their head high. Not down, but high. 
And they're holding this flower, showing that they believe that there is growth in what they are carrying. They don't need much. They don't need much, but what they have is enough. What they have is more than enough to get them to where they're trying to go. Companionship, loyalty, you know, it's just the, the small things, your, your faith, okay, your strength. We always hear those success stories of how people move to follow their dreams with only $20 in their, in their pocket, right? It's something here where you may not have much to how people are perceiving your situation, but it's going to grow. Okay, there's, it's spirit saying like, yeah, this can grow. This can definitely grow. Sometimes less is more. You'll get more results. Now, let's take a look here at the five of cups. Showing sadness through the loss, but not to be hung up too long on the sadness because it could prevent you from seeing the better that is right around the corner. Let's see, what is this for Aquarius with the Five of Cups? Oh, okay, well, five plus five is equaling 10, right? Five plus five is equaling 10. And that's what we see here with the 10 of Cups. It's like, don't, don't um, be too discouraged by a loss or sadness because we see double the happiness coming in, okay? So the outlook, stay Focus on the future, not looking towards the past, looking towards the future. These two, they're looking towards the future. This person is looking towards the past. You can't change the past. What's spilled out has already spilled out. It's not going to be replenished. However, look towards the future of what is to come, what your cup is going to be filled with, who you will meet, what you will connect with, where you will go, what you will do, okay? So for some of you Aquarians, you need this reminder that it's okay to be sad it's not saying you cannot but sometimes especially when our emotions get the best of it uh, of us those emotions can spiral us down into a deeper depression or sadness or paralyze us so don't don't let it don't let your sadness or your disappointment prevent you from experiencing the better blessings and the higher happiness that you are soon to come across because if you focus too strong, okay, or too long on, oh, how's that expression? If you focus too hard on like the speck on the window, you miss the blessings that surround you, okay? So we see the hermit. Ooh, the hermit, we had the seven of swords in reverse. Interesting. Dealing with betrayal, dealing with deceit. I'm also seeing some type of um, wrongdoing, something done behind your back, or something that, let me see, is there another clarifier? Okay, hold on, this card. The Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles. A few things here. If you're, <laughs> I see moving into July, I'm, I'm kind of chuckling because I think at some point, we've all done this before, where you're just fed up with maybe your job or your career or maybe the company that you keep or, or where you're at, right? And you're starting to, you're at a point like now you don't care. Like now you don't care if people know that you're looking to go solo, if you're looking to disconnect, if you're looking to departure. Before you may have been more discreet about it, but now it's like you don't even care because you've put in so much and you know your worth is so high that you aren't afraid or you could care less of people's thoughts when they find out that you are looking to leave because you know that where you're going or what you're trying to find is going to be better or it's worth more than what you were being given. Also, going back to deceit here, some of you too are realizing that it's better to be in the company of one than in the company of misery. No matter how long you have been with this person, no matter how many years they've been your friend or you've been in this relationship or how much you've gone through that's been stacked up with you, you don't care about that anymore. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up on. Like you don't care. 
because you've learned a lesson or you've seen the light, you've seen someone's true intentions. Maybe you've also seen like how conniving and wrong they can do you and you just rather be alone. you rather be away from their company, away from their tricks, okay, their lies. They always have some something pulled up their sleeve and you're like, mm-mm don't want that i want to see your sleeves pushed up okay no more tricks this also reminds me of like lies too sometimes people will say like they are um that they are going to that they're going to stay or that they're going to something's going to remain but you've seen signs that they're really going to be leaving or that this may not be a strong permanent um, relationship or connection. What's that expression? It's um, judge a man by his actions, not by his words. Okay, so somewhere here, someone may be saying one thing like, oh, I'll never leave or I'll never betray you or no, you know, I promise I'll give you the next raise or I, I won't overlook you, right? There's something here where their words don't mean anything to you anymore because you see that their actions have proved otherwise. Like you've held your end of the bargain, like you've done everything, but they haven't fulfilled their end of the bargain. They're running the field. They're running tricks. And you're seeing that. You've been exposed. It's like, hmm, lesson learned. Another lesson learned. So Aquarius, I'll see you in your next bonus reading. Until then, stay well and be blessed.